I guess it's recording. All right. So in this video, I'm just going to show you, um, you know, the described computer. So right now I'm running at around 40%. These are logical cores. They're not physical cores. I'm using roughly one gigabyte RAM. You know, that keeps doing that. So to compare, so I put in the, um, the eight gigabyte card. If you look in, where is it? If you look in the memory, so kilobytes memory, it's around, um, it's like 8 million, right? So that means that it's got eight gigabytes RAM basically. And apparently two gigabytes of this, and just to check, I'm gonna pull this up, system monitor. So it uses it as approximately two gigabytes of swap memory. I'll let you Google that. And before I installed the eight gigabytes RAM, it says 7.7. .7. I'm gonna show a Windows version. This is Linux Mint, by the way, for the record. Um, this shows I have 7.7 .7 gigabytes. Before it showed about 3.9 gigabytes of memory, right? So at this point, it's running as though it's got eight gigabytes. Um, I've never actually reached seven gigabytes or even six gigabytes on this thing. I've only reached like five. Um, and it's mostly because the, the limiting factor is the hard drive. I believe it's not a solid state. So as you can see here, it does have eight gigabytes memory total in the swap. It didn't show a swap before I did it. So when it was, when it had the original four gigabyte card and I checked it, it says four gigabytes on it, right? It didn't show that I had swap memory, but now it shows that I have two gigabytes swap memory plus four gigabytes or eight gigabytes of RAM. Okay, now I'm going to show you the, um, it's working. All right, so this is to show the Windows version. I am uh, not super confident with computers, so I get confused and what's what. So this is just easier if I show Windows versus Linux to, to, for proof that it functions. So in the task manager, for the RAM, you can see that there's um, 7.9 gigabytes, which is a little bit bigger than what Linux said, for whatever reason, I don't understand. Right now, uh, after at the end of this, I'm actually gonna give a little discussion on this, but basically all you need to know is committed is about 10. So for this, it shows, it shows that only one slot is used. Now, apparently one of the slots is actually used, but it doesn't say it is, and it's an internal. So that's, you can't access it. I, I'd open the, I, you know, I opened the computer, I checked everything, I, I didn't see it. So I didn't even see the onboard RAM. I'm just, I don't know what that's all about. Speed of 1600. Um, I heard a lot of stuff about it being like, you have to have like 1200 or, or even 700 or 800. And I, I looked into that a little bit and it seemed like that was true, but I am in fact using a 1600 megahertz RAM card, eight gigabytes right now. And this is what it says on here. It functions just fine. Um, so now to, uh, to just discuss this for a second. So the processes I'm using, I'm just using this. I'm literally just using this. I literally just started it up. I'm using it. There's background stuff, but I mean, I pretty much cleared the whole hard drive except for like, I just downloaded Steam and Blue Jay. So I'm using 3.6 gigabytes. When I had four gigabytes, it said like 3.9 gigabytes or something. It was really slow. It was almost entirely useless. It was. Literally, I almost took it apart just to get capacitors and just random parts because it was so slow, it was almost worthless. So I bite, I bit the bullet, I got the RAM card, I tried it, 
cost me like 50 bucks or something. Um, I'll give the, uh, the exact product in the description. But it was, in fact, roughly 8 gigabytes. So this works. Um, for, so to discuss this, this computer absolutely needs the upgrade. You can function on Windows with 4 gigabytes. But honestly, if I, I'm just going to open a couple apps. I'm just going to open just Firefox. Not even Chrome, just Firefox. And I'm about to get like four and a half gigabytes right now. Like it's pathetic. It's really bad. So this, I mean, the CPU, it's, um, I believe it's got hyper threading. And even here it says eight gigabytes DDR3 RAM with 10 gigabytes committed. So this thing is really slow. It's, it's, if you don't have, um, if you don't have the eight gigabyte RAM card, it's 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 like it's almost junk. But when you add the eight gigabytes, just the fact that you have a couple gigabytes of legroom, it completely it's a completely different experience, even on Windows. It's a completely different experience. The CPU is kind of firing off right now, but I mean it's not really an issue. The biggest issue is the disk. And when you're opening a file like Steam or BlueJay or just even like I don't really have that many on here, but because I don't really use Windows, but if you're just using any any app that's somewhat large, it just it just takes forever. It's not it's not worthless still. It's just kind of slow, and that's just because the the disk I believe it's it's not a solid state. It's a pretty slow disk. Um, but realistically, it, this laptop, I feel like it's going to last me. And by the way, it's 2020. I got this thing for 500 bucks. Um, it is the, I've confirmed, you know, that it is the, the edition that everyone was, you know, there was a large portion of the Lenovo community that at least it seemed that way that was having an issue finding the answers. I looked on forums from like, 2017 and 2015 or even maybe 14 and people are like hey how do I get this you know can I upgrade the RAM and you'd be like okay four years later there's no response by anybody like they're just people are just like okay can I get help Lenovo didn't even respond maybe that was a maybe that wasn't like a public forum I don't I don't know but this thing this thing works just fine like, I'm going to actually stress test this a little bit. I'm going to open, uh, gonna open OneNote. So, for reference, if you opened, I believe it was Chrome, maybe even Firefox, you opened, yeah, Firefox with two tabs and OneNote. It would pretty much crash OneNote. You couldn't run it. It was so bad. It was just maxing out on the RAM. And as you see, the RAM is just fine. It does go over. It was about 3.8, actually, I think, before I upgraded it. But now it's, it's you. It's, it's pretty weak. But it's, it's got hyper-threading. It, it actually goes above 2.2. It goes to, like, like 3.2, I think, when it has turbo on. So it's, that's fine. So you can go to 2. It's going to 2.5 now. It's going up a little bit. So the CPU is all right. That's not a problem. It's mostly the RAM and the disk. Now, with these programs, now the OneNote crashed. And even with that, it's still only using 4.2 gigabytes. If I had this stuff open, I couldn't actually. It wouldn't happen. Like, it would just be so slow. It would take me about, it would take me about 10 minutes to get to where I've where, where I just did in about 10 seconds. So definitely definitely you do the upgrade. Um this is not the touch screen edition. Okay? It's definitely not the touch screen edition. I purposely chose that. But um yeah, so this this all seems fine. You know, everything's running just fine. I I've gotten maybe up to 6 gigabytes and that was because I had like I had my laptop connected to the monitor and I had like 
three windows of, of like Microsoft Edge. I got like PDFs open. I'm like programming and stuff. And like I'm able to multitask just fine. It, it works pretty well. Um, so the standard for me is I need to use approximately four to five gigabytes memory for Windows, and I need about um, I need about one to one to three gigabytes for Linux for the same task. So if you use Linux Mint, it's a completely different experience. It's super fast. You never get anywhere close to using any of your RAM. I've only gotten to like five gigabytes and I've got, I've got all sorts of stuff. I got tabs, I got explorers, I got YouTube videos, I got all this crazy stuff on music editors. I, I, I've opened like Audacity. I've opened like uh, uh, Unity, Steam. I've had like all sorts of programming stuff, all sorts of games. On, um, the, the GPU is really garbage on this thing, but nonetheless, it can still run it simultaneously, at least on Linux Mint. And um, this thing's fine. Like I'm gonna just Google some stuff. You know, like if you try to do the same exact thing, like it's, it's yeah, this is like a basic task, but with four gigabytes RAM, one of these things would crash. It would say it cannot respond or not responding or something. The the OneNote, which is kind of bulky, just be like, I'm not gonna work. It just wouldn't start. Like it would it would come up and then you can't do anything and then eventually like you gotta restart your computer because like nothing's reacting. So yeah, definitely get that upgrade. Um, I believe I spent thirty eight to fifty dollars on Amazon. I believe maybe it was yeah, I believe it was Amazon or New Age. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> But yeah, definitely, it, it definitely works. 